We're living in a new cycle right now where all the eyes of the world are focused on the Western nations for their wars. And meanwhile, China is just silently doing its own thing. There have been rapid scientific developments happening in the country over the past many years. And several experimental and scientific results coming from China have been kind of spectacular in the recent years. In that vein, over the past few days, China has announced two major, major strides in medicine. These two announcements are the first of their kind in medicine and both promise to overcome decades of public health problems. One of the largest lifestyle diseases today that plague all of us after cardiovascular disease is diabetes, type 2 diabetes specifically. There's of course type 1, which is what primarily affects children and it is technically considered an autoimmune disease. With type 1 diabetes, the cells that produce insulin in the body are destroyed by the body's own immune system, which thinks that these are harmful foreign objects. Insulin is a hormone that is produced in our pancreas and it helps in metabolizing food and especially sugar or glucose. Insulin basically takes glucose in our body and takes it and spreads it across to all the cells in the body through blood so that they can get energy to function. If there is no insulin in the body, this sugar, this glucose then builds up in the blood and it leads to high blood sugar levels or hyperglycemia. This is the condition that results in the disease diabetes. There are other kinds of diabetes too. There's type 3 diabetes, by the way, which occurs when the pancreas suffers some kind of damage. And then there is a latent type 1 diabetes that comes about much later in adulthood. Of course, there's also the nonsensical gestational diabetes that pregnant women develop. In China, Two groups of researchers in Shanghai in the recent months have reported that they successfully transplanted insulin-producing ability into the liver of two different participants. The first results are from April this year. This was in the liver of a 59-year-old man with type 2 diabetes. And the other group has now reported that they can reverse type 1 diabetes. Both of these were done using stem cells. In our bodies, stem cells are nascent cells that go on to develop into all other different kinds of cells like skin cells or eye cells or even heart cells. If we take a step further back, there is pluripotent stem cells and these are cells that can go on to develop into any other kind of cell. So in the type 1 diabetes study, researchers took stem cells from the body of the patient or the volunteer and then converted them to a pluripotent state so that they can be manipulated and customized into any other kind of cells that are needed. So the researchers then generated clusters of insulin producing cells. These are typically in medical parlance called islets. And these islets are groups of cells that are typically in the thousands or even millions and they are injected back into the volunteer's body. In the first experiment, the stem cells were inserted into the liver, which is the normal site. In this one, the site they used was abdominal muscles instead of the traditional liver. And this transplantation was performed within just a few minutes. For this participant, who was a 59-year-old woman, it was done in June of last year. And by September, the participant was producing insulin in her own body. There was enough insulin being produced in her body that she did not need any more external insulin at all. And she was able to eat sugar and desserts. And what is absolutely miraculous is that she sustained this level of insulin production for over a year and continues to do so. There are two other participants also a part of the trial and they both are yet to complete the one year mark so their results haven't been released yet and the study will still be expanded more into phase two. Right now the safety and efficacy was tested on rodents and then there were two or three participants. In the next phase there are going to be 10 to 20 participants and the trial is still ongoing but these are spectacular results. Reversal of type 1 diabetes. The other major trial result is also for autoimmune diseases. This was done using CRISPR on one female and two male participants who had severe autoimmune conditions. These participants were treated with someone else's donor T cells, which are immune cells, rather than their own cells, 
which is what is traditionally done in these kind of treatments. These participants had autoimmune disorders like systemic sclerosis that stiffens tissue and skin and also myopathy, which kind of does the same. They all began treatments in June and August of last year. In this second experiment, treatments were done using CAR T cell therapy. We have seen this before in other videos when we spoke about CRISPR and CAR T cell therapy is where immune system cells, which are called T cells, are taken out of the body, genetically modified to stop attacking the body's own cells and then put back in fixed. What was different is that for this experiment, for this trial, the process was performed on donor cells and not the participants own cells. So the team extracted cells from a 21-year-old woman who was the donor for all the participants. They then used CRISPR to edit these cells so that the genes that were attacking body's own cells were knocked off. Once these CAR T cells are then inserted into participants' bodies, they went and destroyed the cells, B cells that led to the autoimmune conditions in the bodies, and then they started to multiply. Eventually, these bioengineered T cells disappear because all cells die after a few weeks. But what the team found is that even after a few weeks, when these bioengineered T cells disappeared, the autoimmune conditions did not come back. This is especially true for the female participant who has had the treatment more than six months ago, less than a year ago, and there is almost complete remission in her case, although the experts are not really comfortable using the word complete. Nonetheless, it is a significant achievement. In all the cases that we just saw today, there were no side effects and the beneficial effects persisted several weeks, months and even a year after the treatment. These bits of news about bioengineering cells to solve problems within our own bodies therapeutically are highly encouraging and promising. Stem cells and CAR T cells have a lot of potential for therapeutics and the speed at which these therapies are evolving has also been extremely rapid in the last decade. Bioengineering is quickly turning into a major medical boom as predicted and we are right now living at the threshold of the golden age of therapeutics thanks to genetic and biomedical engineering.